My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Mahalo for joining me here on Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform. And today, a lot of fun. We're going to be discussing our Hawaii Restaurant Association 16th Annual Golf Tournament presented by HMAA. So first of all, I'd like to have my guests introduce themselves and the company that they're with. Can I start off with Rachel? Absolutely. Hi, everybody. I'm Rachel with HMAA. Um, we've been providing quality health insurance to businesses in Hawaii for over 35 years and are very excited to be here and participate. And we're grateful for HMAA, again, for the third year in a row, being our presenting sponsor. So thank you. Thank you to Rachel and HMAA. Jenna, may I have you introduce yourself and the company you're with? Yes, aloha, everyone. My name is Jenna Takanishi. I'm the regional account manager with First On Site. Thank you for having me. And Jenna is on the committee for players. And Jenna, the great news is we've only got 10 slots left. So Jenna's been doing an awesome job reminding everyone that this tournament sells out every year. And it looks like by the end of this month, we'll be sold out again, a whole month ahead of schedule. Um, may I have Randy introduce himself? Hey, thanks, Cheryl, for inviting me again to think that. Uh, I'm Randy Sagan, and I'm the sales manager for the food service on-premise for Odom Corporation, the Coca-Cola bottom of Hawaii side. Thank you again for joining us. And every year, Odom does um, be, be, I want to say, it's always called a whole sponsorship, but it's really the beverage area sponsor that Odom is. And every year, they they reserve that spot for them to provide all the beverages for the players on the course. And it's always a fun area. Everybody stops by the beverage area, right, Randy? Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of fun. All right, may I have Keith Molini please introduce yourself. Aloha and thank you, Cheryl. I am Keith Molini. I'm the Director of Operations for Kitchen Door um, Waikai. Um, out in Ever Beach. Happy to say we just celebrated our one year anniversary and we're still going strong, serving great food and drinks out um, on the shores of the lagoon at Waikai. And I'm also on the board of directors of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and I'm the chairman of the HRA Educational Foundation. So work very closely with Cheryl. Yes, I can't believe it's been one year, Keith, since yeah. I was out there at your opening. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Time is just flying, and it's such a, you've done so many wonderful things out there. I haven't seen the obstacle course yet, but I, I have to swing by and see it. You got to come out. It's called Aqua Ventures, and it's, it's pretty amazing. There's like hundreds of people out there every weekend, so it's fun. Nice, nice. <laughs> Again, it is our 16th annual um, Hawaii Restaurant Association Golf Tournament. And again, this year, we will sell out. Our golf tournament, the Hawaii Restaurants Association's Golf Tournament, is really an excellent way to network and to meet other people in the food service industry. We are the largest food service golf tournament in the state. And again, this year, we'll be at the Hawaii Prince Golf Course. And the reason that we're having this show is also to speak about uh, a portion of your ticket will benefit the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. So you're gonna learn more about that today. You're gonna to learn about all the wonderful food and beverages that is happening at this golf tournament. So I'm gonna start off with Rachel. Rachel, thank you again. HRA is so grateful for HMSA, HMAA's presenting sponsorship. Could you please share with us what motivates HMAA to continue to be our presenting sponsor? Definitely happy to share. So we've built a really great relationship with the Hawaii Restaurant Association, and we want to continue to support the food industry in every way possible. Um, this, as Cheryl said, is the largest golf tournament with the food service industry. Um, so it's just a fun day to spend with friends with the great food, great drinks. Really looking forward to those every year. Um, and it's, this generates revenue for the Hawaii Restaurant Association, and as Cheryl said, also for the Educational Foundation. So just a great way to be there and support um, our friends in the industry. Thank you, Rachel. And to Jenna, what can participants expect from the golf tournament's experience? 
Yeah, so the annual HRA tournament, it's always a hit. Those who are attending are guaranteed to have a great time. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't enjoy time away from the office to go play some golf? Uh, the players will receive a mahalo bag, which includes swag and goodies. A uh, light lunch will be provided, and you will be loaded with refreshments and drinks throughout the day. So players will be full and hydrated. Um, after <laughs> golf, there is a banquet where you will eat and drink some more. So we got you covered for dinner. No need cook. And uh, we got some great prizes to give away. The best part is it's a great way to just connect and network with those involved in the food industry in a, a casual setting. And, and we sell out on team spots every year. So those who haven't signed up, go do it now. Thank you, Jenna. And Jenna, as I mentioned earlier, is the lead on this the players call down and we've only got 10 slots maybe less as you know this the show will go out and then people will start reserving their teams um keith can i please ask if you could give us a sneak peek on the great food that our players and volunteers can enjoy the day of the tournament of course so what better place to get food than at an hra hawaii restaurant association golf tournament so every hole or there will be food spread around the holes and the food will be provided by hra member restaurants so in any hra event these restaurants go go all out to provide the best type of food they kind of compete with each other to make sure that their their food is better than the other and it's it's pretty amazing so and the food is all delicious so this year uh, Wai Hata's uh, corporate chef will be cooking up some burgers um, Tiki's is providing some soft shell crab uh, sliders, which I'm I'm looking forward to having. Um, Murphy's is doing some oyster shooters, and then of course Il Gelato, our, our perennial sponsor, participant, will have several flavors of gelato there as well. So I'm really looking forward to the food. Um, I think the only other golf tournament that has better food is was the HRA EFs golf tournament a few weeks ago at uh, Bayview Driving Range. Yes, and I heard that one was a huge hit because the students, right, Keith? Right, the students were there preparing the food so we could see our, our fundraising efforts at work with the, with the passion of these kids providing food for the golfers. So for, for this tournament, uh, it's all the professionals, so you're going to get the best, best of the best. Yes, yes. And so, as Keith mentioned, when the golfers arrive, they'll be getting um, our bento sponsor is Zippies, and you'll be getting a bento to start off your day so that you don't start off hungry. I'm um, hungry. You've been full of eating a bento. And as you mentioned, we have so many different restaurants who will be on the course, and, and Keith already mentioned the majority of them. And on top of that, 604, and on top of that, um, Cujillo Avenue, Kula Grill, and Shore Farm or some of the other restaurants that we'll be providing. So there'll be lots of food on the course. And as, as you mentioned, then we go to the banquet and we eat some more. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's why Cheryl has a hard time losing weight at this job. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Randy and Randy, we can't just talk about food. We need to talk about the beverages and refreshments that are going to be on the course. Why don't you share with our members and viewers a little bit about the beverages? Of course, of course. With with all food, you need beverage, right? I mean, it's an important part of your meal is having that fresh beverage to wash it down. But, you know, we got a lot of golfers, and this is what this is for. So we'll be featuring some uh, uh, Rain Storm. This is this plant-based energy drink, right, from Rain. Uh, we've got great flavors, some kiwi, some, uh, some strawberry guava, some mango. I mean, some just refreshing flavors that is uh, plant-based. We we'll also have some uh, flash IV from Body Armor for rapid rehydration. There's a lot of guys that get re uh, dehydrated on the course. And so this will help you stay fueled as you as you golf. And then of course we have our Coca-Cola Spice, which will be featuring out there with sugar and zero sugar. That's on our non-elf side. Now for the fun part, right? For the beers, we'll have some Kona, Kona uh, beverage, uh, Kona beer out there as well, as always and some white claw, and they'll also bring some uh, CO2 coconut water. So this will be all on the beverage concourse. Let's call it the beverage concourse, uh, sponsored by Odom Corporation. We're looking forward to having all of you. 
Nice, nice. Thank you for teaching me that because yes, I just call it the beverage area. So yes, beverage concourse. I love it. Thank you so much to Odom for helping us by not only it's, it's Randy and Benjamin. I want to give a shout out to Benjamin, who's really been on the committee last year. He was the lead for all of our beverages and did a fabulous job. My, the only complaint I heard, Randy, was it did slow the play down a little bit. <laughs> because so much beverage is on the course. I think like, we need to keep the play going, you know? So, yes, that's the, the other side of this tournament. Um, Jenna, how does this tournament really foster networking opportunities and, you know, building business relationships within the food service industry? Well, whether you are volunteering, sponsoring a whole, or even playing, you have an opportunity to market yourself and your company before the tourney, and even when you're playing on the course, it's an opportunity to have fun with your clients and still have meaningful conversations. There are times when, you know, there is a lag in play, we just said that, um, and it always happens at tournaments, but you can utilize that time to network with the group next to you. Uh, you just won't be meeting with those that are directly related to the food service industry. There's other industry professionals, such as myself, uh, who are heavily involved with HRA. So take me, for example, I'm with First On Site. I am not a chef, nor does our company do catering or drinks. We do property restoration and provide 24 seven emergency services. So in the case there is a kitchen fire, a pipe burst, or if it's an environmental issue, we provide these services to the food service industry, such as restaurants, food distributors, and of course, other sectors. But it's introducing yourself creating these relationships with others because you never know when you're going to need them. So this is a great time to pass out business cards and get to know each other on a personal and professional level. I love it. Thank you so much. And you're so right. So many relationships are built at this tournament and a lot of people you know especially now people are working from home this is an opportunity for everyone to come out and see the food service industry all all everyone on the course all having fun and building those future relationships all right keith now we're going to talk about really the reason why we have this tournament um the hawaii restaurant association educational foundation supports our Pro Start culinary program in our Hawaii high schools. Keith, please share with our members and viewers a little bit about how the tournament supports the EF. Well, HRA has um, been generous enough to kind of give us a, a little bit of the registration fee for, for each player to go toward the educational foundation. And then we're also at a whole where we're sponsoring a Play It Forward um, contest. So you can give us money to kind of shorten your length of the tee, tee off. So pretty much you're buying extra yardage as you get closer to the hole. Um, so each dollar that is given to us goes right to our fundraising efforts for the Educational Foundation, which as Cheryl mentioned, we sponsor Pro Start um, Culinary Curriculum, which is a high school curriculum um, generated by the National Restaurant Association, and we administrate it here in Hawaii. Um, and then we also provide funds for teachers to be able to outfit their classrooms, to purchase equipment, to buy um, food products so the kids can cook with. Um, we, and we also do scholarships. So we just recently awarded four scholarships for some great high school and one um, junior college student to continue their culinary education. Um, this funding, the, the, the grants that I was just talking about go toward helping the, um, the, the high school teachers be able to engage their students a little bit more and get them spark that passion so we can kind of lure them into the hospitality industry and, and become our next generation of great cooks and chefs that we so desperately need right now. Exactly, Keith. You know, the Educational Foundation is really grateful that the committee has decided and HRA has agreed that a portion of each ticket will go to the Educational Foundation along with the game that's on the course. And the big picture is, like Keith mentioned, you know, it's really looking for that future, our culinary superstars and encouraging them. Keith, many times I speak to our instructors and, you know, they pay out of their pocket for things. They don't have the funding to 
to buy equipment, you know, and to buy the things that they need to teach students. It's hard to teach culinary if you don't have a set of knives or a set of, right, right? If you don't have a, a, a burner. So we need to furnish our schools, our, pro, our culinary classrooms with all those equipment. And then the scholarships, Keith, you know, don't let me start crying about the <laughs> that we really, really want to support. And it's so exciting to hear their journey. And as Keith mentioned, the Educational Foundation just had their driving range um, golf tournament and the students all came out and they're just, you know, so proud to be able to provide and serve the dishes that they created. So this this golf tournament, the HRA's golf tournament, is to help the future leaders and culinary superstars that will eventually be our future workforce. So thank you, Keith. Keith is the chairman of the HRA Educational Foundation, and he's doing a fabulous job. And, you know, it's so impactful for what Keith has already done for this program. So thank you, Keith, for all that you do. Thank you, Cheryl. It's been fun, really fun getting out into the high schools and seeing what how creative these teachers are are being trying to inspire their students and like you said just provide the basics of equipment and food product we just went to a culinary competition between castle and kahuku high schools up at uh, polynesian cultural center and the, the day before they gave me a call and said oh we don't have any product for the kids to cook with so i'm like oh my goodness so <laughs> Immediately, the Pro Start coordinator Katie and I started rounding up product, and we went up to um, help out with the competition. And it was pretty amazing just to see these kids very passionate about. They were creating a four course dinner for the judges, and it was. I was really impressed by the by the talent that's there. And that's saying a lot to impress Keith Malini. That says <laughs> a lot. Keith has been in the food service industry how many years, Keith? Too long. Too long. <laughs> or long, not long enough, actually. <laughs> and not too rare. Since I was this high. <laughs> I know that. I was hoping you'd tell me the years. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one. Maybe, maybe one day I'll. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Randy. Again, this year, as I mentioned, Odom is going to is. Benjamin is our beverage lead, and Odom is being our, what you're calling the Beverage Conquerors um, sponsor. Thank you so much. And we're grateful. And Odom provides so much support to the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Also, to the Educational Foundation, you provided the beverages for our Top Tracer um, Driving Range fundraiser and the community. So why? Why does Odom do all of this? Well, Odom is celebrating their 90-year 90th year in business, right? I mean, they're a distributor of the best brands possible, right? In, in the beverage industry, uh, in Alaska, Washington, Idaho, Oregon, and Hawaii, right? And not only does the Odom family invest in their people here, us, me being one of them, um, but we'd love to be immersed into the community. So we do stuff with the March of Dimes, Ronald McDonald House, uh, Children's Miracle Network, Special Olympics. I mean, even down to the Punahou Carnival, we're there, right? Uh, for Milani Town Association, we're also there. So we truly believe being part of the community is is essential to our business. So we thank you again for having us. Well, we thank you for all that you do because you got to know, Benjamin, he has a heavy lift. He does <laughs> a lot of coordinating, a lot of organizing. And when we meet oh, he can handle it. <laughs> I love so Rachel, so for those interested and in still participating by sponsoring or getting involved, what is still available for them to do? All right. So we are looking for businesses to sign up to be a whole sponsor. Um, we do have our early bird rate of $550 through May 4th. Um, so you can still sign up to sponsor a whole. You'll have your logo. Um, at the designated hole, the logo will also be present on our banner that will be at registration and in the banquet. Um, so every vendor, golfer, volunteer, attendee at the golf tournament will have that brand visibility uh, for anybody who chooses to uh, sponsor a hole. We are also looking for a banquet sponsor. So that great dinner that we talked about that everybody's looking forward to, um, we are still looking for a sponsor for that. Um, and then volunteers. So if you don't want to golf, 
you can also volunteer. So um, I'll be working with all of our volunteers this year, um, finding people that help with drinks, food, registration, raffle tickets, um, and to put on the largest golf tournament in the food service industry, we need logistics help. So um, if you do want to volunteer, you'll also be able to sign up for that. And we look forward to seeing every single one of you on the golf course. Yes, yes. And then also, if you are a member, you are able to also participate by putting something in the Mahalo swag bag. Correct. Yeah. And yes, and you know, thank you to HMA because I already know what your giveaway is, which is fabulous. I need one. And and then anybody else who is a member, we've sent out the constant contact information. You click on the link and you just let us know what you have in the Mahalo swag bag in the past has been golf towels. And right, there's I know that there's um actually two people have asked to put beverages in the um, swag bag also. So the golfers can, you know, take home a, a Mahalo swag bag. The volunteers will also get one because we really appreciate all of our volunteers. As Rachel said, we're looking for logistics, but we also need people to help us in on the course, right? Replenishing ice, being sure that people are getting relief out there, um, taking pictures, those kind of things. So a lot of volunteers are needed. If you are a member, please sign up to volunteer. It's a great way to get to meet everyone in the industry that's golfing that day. We also are looking still for raffle prizes, team prizes, and player prizes. That, again, is on the um, registration constant contact that will go out. And you can just click on it and just say, I'd like to promote my business by providing a prize. And so you can also do that. Um, the other one question I have is, Jenna, we only have like 10 slots left. Yes. So when does registration close and how can our listeners secure their team slot? Well, early bird registration ends May 4th or until sold out. Uh, some early bird teams have already been sold out. So act now. Go to HRE's website, hawaiirestaurant.org under upcoming events to register. Good job. Thank you so much. Now, before I close this show, I do want everybody to have one opportunity to say their final their final comments. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Miss Rachel. Is there anything that I missed? I think we we hit a lot of the topics, but we're just all very excited to be there uh, to see our clients, future clients, um, and just be able to network, have a great day at the course with great food, great friends, um, and some amazing beverages too. Nice. Thank you. And so I'm going to go ahead and go to Jenna. Is there anything I missed? Uh, no, just sign up right away. Again, we only have 10 slots left um, and come and support HRA and its educational efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Randy, what did I miss? Um, nothing. It's just, it's a fun event. And I hope I don't embarrass myself on the course as I usually do. Um, but yeah, everybody stop by the beverages and let's continue to network, man. Let's take care of each other. Let's have fun out there. Nice. Thank you. Keith, what did I miss? You covered everything. And I think everybody spoke really well to the to the event. It's going to be pretty amazing as as. Randy says we don't want to embarrass ourselves on the course, <laughs> but it's it, there's a little bit of a competitive edge. But yes, it's all about about having fun and contributing to the HRA and the EF. Oh, and at our hole, we're going to have several of our board members volunteering. So speaking of networking and, and touching base with our board members, we have a very eclectic board, not only from the food service industry, but also from the business community. We have um, bankers and butchers and candlestick makers <laughs> so it's a very eclectic board so it's it'd be a great time to come and chat with us yes keith is correct you know people don't realize keith on the educational foundation board we have 25 directors and they all come from all the different um you know industries and all to support the culinary um, high schools, right? That's what it's all about. And these, these board members come with a lot of passion to support our future superstars. So in closing, again, the Hawaii Restaurant Association's golf tournament is going to be held on June 4th. Um, registration that day starts at 10 a.m. 
Shotgun at 11 a.m. And then our awards banquet is at 5 p.m. The early bird, as Jenna said, closes on May, May 4th. But I think, Jenna, I think we're going to sell out before then. So everybody, please sign up for your team right away. All the ways to participate. We're looking for a banquet sponsor. If you want to give prizes and donate a prize to teams, it's a three team. So three gift cards, three items would be perfect. We're also looking for members to participate in our swag bag. It's great advertising. You know, put a coupon in there, put a gift card in the, in the swag bag to get people to know a little bit about your business. And again, I want to thank everyone for joining me here on the show today. Thank you so much. We appreciate all that you do. Again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. Until our next show, thank you so much. We want to announce that ThinkTech Hawaii is moving into a new phase and will not be producing regular talk shows after April 30th. We will retain our website and YouTube channel and will accept new content on an ad hoc basis. We are also developing a legacy archive program to provide continuing public access to our content. If you can help us cover the costs of the transition and the development of our legacy archive program, please make a donation on thinktechaway.com. Thanks so much. Aloha.